Dan, thank you. Well, that storm has triggered a federal response, of course, and Nevadans are joining in on, on that effort to try and save lives. A local team right now, along with boats, is making their way to Virginia. And 13 Action News anchor Masa Saidi has more on that. Todd, we are in the Nevada Task Force One warehouse tonight. These pallets contain everything the teams need. They can be deployed in just four hours and tonight, 16 personnel en route to the East Coast. Obviously, anytime you send somebody out the door, there's a concern for their safety. We, uh, we expect to put our people in harm's way. We train to put our people in harm's way. Tonight, Hurricane Florence making its slow and ominous approach to the Carolinas, despite the downgrade. We are under a mandatory evacuation. Forecasters say the Category 2 storm is still a big danger. Parts of North Carolina could see up to 40 inches of rain, and that's not the worst of it. The storm surge is going to be huge. Um, we're pretty concerned. Nevada Task Force leader Jeff Lytle helping to coordinate the local response to the emergency in the east. Pictures of our local firefighters, engineers and doctors making the trip. I'm trying to get over there to be in position and get into theater so that as soon as the hurricane hits that they're ready to go to work. There are five of us there are four beats so we're gonna pray. We're going to pray tonight. More than a million people under evacuation orders. This retired North Las Vegas fire chief knows our local men and women have the training and the equipment to save lives. It's people who truly want to serve. It's sometimes scary, but they wouldn't want to do anything else. And this team will be deployed for up to 21 days. If necessary, another team will be sent out. Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Uh, special people. Absolutely. Oh, right. Absolutely.